What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and it helps the channel. On that note, we're at 850 some subscribers right now, which is insane to me. We're so close to that thousand mark. So if you watched the last video that dropped just this past Tuesday, or you know, the last one that dropped, I did the unboxing of the Kimimoto 50 liter waterproof motorcycle tail bag. And I promised you guys, we were taking a two up trip, my wife and I are, and I promised y'all that I would show you how we packed it out. So this part of the video is gonna be packing the bag and showing you kind of what went in it. The other part of the video is gonna be how I attached it to the bike. And I did figure that out. So let me show you that real quick. I mentioned in the last video that there were these straps here on the bag. Those straps have big openings in the end of them. And you basically run this clip through the opening, run it around what you are going to affix it to, and then tighten it up. And this is the little elastic thing that I was talking about that, that holds the strap to the strap so that it's not beating your bike or beating you. There is the bag. There's the Kimimoto bag right there. Like I said, this is the 50 liter bag. I'm gonna show you kind of what we're gonna try and squeeze into this bag. Then I'm gonna mount the camera on the tripod right there. Show me putting it in the bag and then I'm going to take some video close up of the stuff inside the bag. I think that's the best way to do it. And then tomorrow morning when we wake up, I'm gonna take the bag outside, I'm gonna put it on the bike, and I'll show you how I mount it to the bike. I will show you, you know, how it looks once it's on the bike. And then there's gonna be some video of the bag on the bike while we are riding down the road. So let me show you what we're packing. I've got my riding clothes, basically. I've got my toiletry kit. I've got a long sleeve t-shirt because it's gonna be cool one of the mornings that we wake up because we're gonna be in the mountains. I've got a pair of jeans that I'm not gonna be riding in. And I've got kind of a dressier shirt to wear when we go out to dinner those two nights, Friday night and Saturday night. My wife, this is what she is packing. This is her riding clothes and her, uh, you know, pajamas and stuff she wants to go out in the evening, etc. She's also bringing an extra pair of shoes because she doesn't want to wear her riding boot. And then of course you've got hair dryer and, uh, what the hell is that called? Curling iron. That's what she's bringing. Plus her toiletry kit which isn't out here yet, but it's about the size of the one that I have. So you'll get an idea. I know how big this bag is on the inside and I know it is going to swallow every bit of the stuff that we're gonna put into it. So I'm interested to see how rigid I can make it by rolling it down and making it tight and strapping it in so that it doesn't scratch my saddlebags. That's what I'm really concerned about. That, that's the only concern I have about this bag. Stick around. I'm going to mount the camera on the tripod and I'm gonna show you me loading the bag. Okay, hopefully this doesn't cut my head off. We'll see. So as mentioned before in previous videos, this bag does have a Velcro opening on the top, which is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the shoulder strap because I'm not gonna be using that this trip. I'm gonna expand the bag as much as I can expand it. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the stuff that's flat and big in first is a good way to put it. I'm gonna take my clothes, the sort of dressy shirt, the jeans and the extra long sleeve shirt and drop it in here. And I'm gonna put this stuff in and spread it out as far as I can. I think that's what makes the most sense.
I'll show you what it looks like inside the bag with it packed. There you go. That's it. That's two people stuff for basically a weekend. And there's tons of room left. Uh, I'm telling you, there's tons of room left. I could pack a lot more into this bag. If I was taking it on a cross country trip, for instance, transcontinental, the, that bag certainly would hold everything that I needed for 12, 13, 14 days without needing to do laundry. If I do laundry, it, it expands it even more than that. So yeah, uh, so far, I like the product. I really do. Kimimoto, y'all are doing a good job. Kind of how I'm gonna do it up. So we put the Velcro together and then you fold it down. I do like the fact that the Velcro literally goes to like right here on each side. You can see this Move more towards the middle. The Velcro goes to like right here. So there's this big gap here that's open and allows air to go out as you roll this bag down. That's what makes this bag waterproof, by the way, guys. It's a roll bag. So you roll it down. I'm gonna squeeze as much air out of it as I can. Because, you know, I want it to be as rigid as possible. I don't want it grabbing the tops of my saddlebag. So we roll it down and then we're going to put this in and then we can tighten it up. There we go. And then we'll clip this one in and tighten it down. Like I said, I knew this bag was going to swallow our stuff. We probably have enough room, honestly, for two people to go for, if I had to guess, four or five days on the road with this setup. I, I'm not kidding. It, it, it really is. There's a lot of room in this bag. And then there's these straps along the top. Don't know yet if I'm going to mount anything to the top of the bag and use these to hold it there because I don't have to since I'm not bringing my helmet. I'm not bringing leathers. It's summertime. There's no reason to bring that stuff. Rain gear and all that stuff is already packed on the bike and it's in the saddlebags. So I think I'm just going to, you know, leave it like this. And uh, yeah, those little elastic things, they do a pretty good job of holding the, holding the uh, straps for you. And like I said in the last video, when I mount this on the bike, it will go on this way with my back and my wife's back here because I want the folded part pointed towards the back of the bike. This seems like it, uh, it firmed up quite a bit once I filled it up. That's what I will say. I think it's going to sit on the bike and not yield side to side, especially since I'm going to be strapping it on using these guys and I'm strapping it onto the luggage rack and the sissy bar, you know, kind of, well, sissy bar luggage rack will be how it gets attached to the bike. And uh, there's still room for, I mean, you've got places to put stuff on here. I can see these being very handy. If nothing else, when you hit a gas stop and you take your sunglasses off and you're going inside for a little while and you know, you need some place to put your sunglasses, you just stick them in one of these holes right here. But yeah, that's, that's it. That's how the bag's packed. Uh, hang around because the next time you see me, I will be uh, putting this on the bike and showing you how I mount it. What's up? It's the next morning. It's the day we're leaving. And it is humid as hell out here. But I got the bag on the bike and I wanted to show it to you. So my luggage rack is not the best one for this option because the luggage rack is all the way back in there. It's one of those little like, you know, the ones that look really sporty, but they don't really stick out that far in the back. So if I was putting this on the back seat, like I think it has I had no problem mounting it to the bike. 
There's a little bit of a problem getting it on too. The little luggage rack though. Um, but I got it mounted. Um, I did have to add a couple of uh, couple of straps from my other bag to you know to get it to mount on there securely. But uh, it's mounted up. It doesn't look like it's going to hit the top of my saddlebags while we're riding, which is a good thing. And uh, I am able to get the saddlebags open with it on the bike. I do have to kind of lift it, move it out of the way, but I've had to do that with every bag I've ever put on the bike that's a bag like this one. So yeah, we're ready to go. Waiting on David and Desi to show up and then we're gonna head out. So yeah, there it is. The Kimimoto 50 liter waterproof motorcycle tail bag. And uh, all packed up and ready to go. So hopefully, uh, yeah, it'll be a, it's probably gonna be a good trip. Hoping it is. Hoping the weather holds off for us. We're leaving a little earlier this morning to try and avoid some thunder showers later today. Rode with the bag all day today. Didn't get in any rain, so I don't know how it would perform in that, but I will say this, the bag performed excellent. It, I mean, it, it, it truly did. It kept its shape when it was on the bike, which is what I was worried about. I was worried about it kind of going down and hitting the saddlebag lids and scratching them is a good way to put it. If you're on a denim bike, a scratch ends up being shiny. So, I was worried about that and I was able to do it. That's, if you can see it, that right there is what I mean by, I have a small luggage rack. It's meant more for aesthetics instead of uh, you know, function. And the bag hangs probably, at least a third of the bag passes where the end of that luggage rack is at. So if you guys have something like that, know that that is gonna be a thing, and also know that it doesn't matter because the bag still works on that luggage rack. Again, that's the Kimimoto 50 liter waterproof motorcycle tail bag. I'll see y'all soon. So we just got back from our trip. I thought I would show you the Kimimoto 50 liter waterproof motorcycle tail bag and how I had it loaded to get home the rest of the way. I needed to, I needed to put my foal on the bike as well, so I wanted to show y'all how I did that. These little hook things here are freaking fantastic. I was able to use my elastic net to put the helmet right on top of the bag. Worked perfect, it really did. I, I gotta say, um, we had everything we needed for a two-up, two night trip because we left on Friday and we came back Sunday. So we spent Friday night, Saturday night there. There was enough room in that bag for everything I needed and for everything my wife needed, which is pretty damn impressive. I'll also say the bag is very easy to put on and off the bike. Those mounting straps that I showed you when I put it on there, make it a breeze to stick it on. And, and had it not been for the fact that my luggage rack is really kind of small. Uh, it would have been even simpler to put it on, quite honestly. And putting it on the, my back seat, like how I normally would travel, it's gonna mount up quick and fast. Probably one of the easiest ones I've ever put on a bike. So yeah, I thought I'd give you all that. Um, it's definitely waterproof. We went through some pretty bad rain. 
uh, Saturday on our way to go do the thing that we were doing that weekend. And um, it's definitely waterproof. It's a waterproof bag. It held up great. It's, it still looks like it's brand new and it's been, I think the total trip was probably, I don't know, 350 to 500 miles, somewhere around there. I'll, I'll put it in here. I'll tell you how many miles we went. Um, now the bag wasn't on the bike the whole time. It worked great getting it to and from where our destinations were. So yeah, really good bag, highly recommend it. I rated a 10 out of 10. I've not found anything that I can complain about with this bag, so yeah. Thanks for watching. The link will be down in the description. If you click that link that's in the description, you get 10% discount when you purchase the bag there. I don't get anything. So thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and helps the channel. We're at close to like, I think 870 subscribers right now. So we're getting very close to that thousand mark. But thanks for watching. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>